Hi guys, we are back, Twitch Live. Hopefully you've been checking out all the exciting launch announcements this morning, and you're super excited like I am. Well, this is where I get to do some of the cool stuff. As you guys know, if you follow me at all, I love doing different things with IoT. Um, and AWS IoT is one of my favorites, I said one, of my favorite products. So I'm really excited to be here today with the great AWS IoT team. Um, will you guys <coughs> introduce yourselves to our stream live public? All right, hi there, uh, my name is Satyan. I'm a general manager in AWS IoT. And uh, very excited about the service that we launched it's called OneClick. We'll talk about it in a minute. I have my team with me. Hi, so right, Lomash. I'm Lomash Kumar. I am a senior software development engineer uh, with AWS IoT. I'm very here. excited to be here. Yes. Hi, this is uh, Sham Srinivasan, uh, product manager for AWS IoT OneClick. Uh, happy to be here. Excellent. And I know you guys are here to share <coughs> with us today some exciting news, so I won't steal your thunder, even though I kind of know what it is. Yeah. I'll let you tell everyone what is this great service that we're talking about here today. Good. Um, so as uh, some of you may know, um, IoT, a number of IoT devices, only on uh, has been uh, expo exponential growth in terms of types of devices, uh, heterogeneous devices, and many of our customers use AWS IoT Core Service to directly connect to the AWS, oh, and we also have AWS so Greengrass uh, that customers can use, and both these services uh, allow customers to, after they connect to the AWS, allow them to use the rest of the services, whether it's AWS Lambda, uh, Kinesis, um, uh, S3, DynamoDB, but these, some of these customers are uh, understand the complexity involved and they want the flexibility. But we have a number of customers who do not uh, want to deal with these complexity. They have a simpler case, use cases and they want to quickly deploy these services. So for example, we have a customer iRemedy and they provide uh, medicine uh, and other uh, medical supply to the consumers. And, uh, in, in this case, uh, the consumers uh, have an option to go on to online and uh, order through the phone or online the phone. But many of, our many of these customers do not necessarily either comfortable or sometimes we all forget, you know, to the last minute, then there's a new medicine needs to be ordered. And so they, they use our AWS IoT button, which, uh, which is here, um, uh, to simply pr put it in a place where you can click it and reorder the medicine that you want. Uh, their problem was not to try to develop a new hardware, understand the, what it takes to build this embedded hardware here, um, embedded software here, and then how to secure and connect and then take care of all the analytics and then backend uh, uh, the ordering. Um, so for customers like this, we came up with a service called AWS IoT One Click. So simply what you have to do is we will have a number of um, devices available at launch and one of them uh, is from our partner AT&T. So this one is a Wi-Fi button. And the button from AT&T um, is a LTE, uh, LTE M button, which can be deployed outdoor. As you know, Wi-Fi would not work in outdoor. So this could be put on in any number of use cases. One of our customer uh, wanting to put this in a, um, in a uh, replacing things. In this case, they have uh, large bins of collecting trash or collecting other goods. And once those bins are full, instead of customer calling them to get them a new bin, they can simply press the button uh, suggesting that the, the bin is available. So, so this button has, because it's a button that you work, we work with the uh, AT&T, you're saying yeah. this button has Wi-Fi internet connect, uh, connectivity without us connecting to a separate Wi-Fi. Correct, and, and this Very button cool. comes pre-provisioned. So when, we, when customers use this button, they don't have to follow any other step. They uh, order these uh, buttons. Uh, once they uh, provide the order number to, to our service, it, all these buttons they have purchased shows, shows up in their account. So once you have those buttons available, all the customers they have to do is associate a Lambda function. Nice. So that these, tri these triggers uh, generate a, uh, uh, execute a Lambda function in the cloud. Um, so that all that is set up. So there's a simple three step they have to do. Pick a device, one of those, and then we'll have a number of additional devices available next year. Uh, associated Lambda function and Lomash will uh, give you a demo a little later in, the, in this. And then once, once that is done, all you have to do is look at the report, how many times it, it was used, what are the health of your devices if you, in case you need to replace it. So it's, it's simply as, as simple as pick a device, 
uh, associated with Lambda and, and you click. And then you click, I love yeah. that. So this kind of takes my love of IoT buttons up a notch yeah. because now I don't even have to connect it to the Wi-Fi. Like right. I said, it's one of the, my uh, favorite scenarios to connect, wi connect via Lambda and I'm off to the races with anything I want right. to do with the button. So I am curious, as I know most of the guys out there are, um, we want to touch it, see it, feel it, right? Because I think about some of the scenarios and some of the code I've written against the button and Lambda and everything else. Yeah. So now I want to see, how do I just do this nice one click, I'm provisioned, I'm ready to go to the races. Yeah. Um, you guys have a cool demo to show yeah, us? Yeah, maybe we should okay. show that first so it'll yeah. become more uh, uh, okay. easy to understand. Go ahead. So uh, I have an iOS application running on an iOS device. Um, so this is the one-click application. Okay. Um, the service is right now in preview, so anybody else who's trying to do it will first have to sign up and get whitelisted to be able to download this application and sign in into the service. I have already signed into the service. So once you launch the application, the coolest thing that I like about this is that all your devices are already in your account. Nice. You don't have to provision them, you don't have to register them, you don't have to in some way put credentials or other configurations. These devices are already in your account and they'll appear as soon as you log in. Um, so to be able to uh, run a cool project, for example, sending SMS whenever a button is clicked, what you need to do is Go to the projects pane, create a new project by clicking on this button. Uh, the defined project screen comes up. I'm just quickly going to type in a project. Um, so my cool project. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. I'll, I'll select uh, SMS as the action. And this is where you can select from one of the existing Lambda functions that we provide out of the box, which is sending email and sending SMS, or you can select Lambda if you want to hook in your custom written method on AWS Lambda Very nice. and do whatever you want to do. Yeah. So, so when, I, when I click on Lambda, sorry, when I click on Lambda, if I've already developed a, a solution with Lambda and AWS IoT, I can select it here and I'm off to the races. Absolutely. Right. Fantastic, okay. Yeah. I'm going to select the SMS one, uh, okay because uh, that, that is how I'll show how the button click sends an SMS. Nice. Okay, uh, the next step is where you can configure actions, um, and then, uh, so for example, the recipient phone number, I'll, I'll just type in quickly my phone number. Um, to watch you type in, it's like the worst thing ever. So we feel for you, I'm sure everyone else does right now, watching him type, so. The demo yeah. gods are kind. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Your fingers stop working. You did great, so. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so, see the project is already up and running, now I just need to add a deployment to it. Uh, I'll go to it, I'll, uh, it'll show me the details of the project, and then I select deployments and I go and create a deployment. I'll just name it something for now. We'll look away. <laughs> <laughs> and here is where I associate a device to a deployment. Okay. Right? Um, so let's, let's say I associate a device and I just go back and I say next. And my deployment is created. So this is how easy it is for you to create a project and a deployment to be able to get actions from these buttons. And now these buttons are deployed with that one click that I did just, and what I can do is I can simply go and click these buttons and, and they would send me SMS, uh, they would connect to uh, the Wi-Fi network, uh, then connect to the AWS IoT one click backend, and then trigger SNS uh, to send SMS to my mobile phone. Yeah. Very nice. Yes. So do I still have the, I'm, I'm assuming I still have, even without using Lambda, the ability to, when they send that payload, I can still discern whether it was one click, it was a double click, a long click. I still yes. have the ability to discern which one of those and have different actions about it. Yeah. Exactly. Lovely, okay. Yeah. So uh, this is uh, my phone and I just uh, entered my phone number and I already got one of the SMS from one of these devices, and the second one just came. You see the now, uh, 
It was just showing now, which means that I've just received an SMS from the second device as well. So will you hold that up again? Can we zoom in on his phone? I think that's really cool that we're up here and we're doing stuff live. He just got the uh, text messages. So I think that's cool. We gotta we gotta make it real. They they might think we're faking it. This just happened live. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> this is real. Yeah, this this it is I, real. right. This is real live. Yeah. Uh, so tell me what. Obviously, I am really hyped about it. But I, what customers give us some customer benefits and use cases you already kind of think about it, you know about that are perfect for these scenarios. Of course, I have a ton in my head, but I I want to hear from the experts. You guys, are the experts. So. Sham. Yep. Sure, uh, I think as, as Satin and Lomash alluded to, the first one is simplicity, right? It's ease of use. It's as easy as clicking a button and hence the name one click. That's number one, no complexity involved for integrating and deploying simple devices. I think the critical part is, uh, especially coming from Amazon and AWS, is security. It's secure connectivity right out of the box. So you don't need to provision any credentials because these are secure credentials which are done at the factory at the time of manufacturing. So both the devices which you saw are already pre-provisioned with the secure credentials. Right. Uh, uh, the third one is about customization. You could use your own Lambda function, which you can use for depending on your environment, depending on your use case, right? It's so easy as that. And last but not the least is the mobile experience. It's not only you can, you can have the monitoring and of your devices deploy them and have a report of those devices anytime, anywhere using the mobile experience. So, I mean. Exciting, yeah. So, how do, how do we get started? I, I know we're going to uh, yeah. wrap it up, but these everybody would love to know, I'm sure, how to get started. So before we leave. Yeah, uh, so uh, we launched it uh, just to put an hour back, so fresh off yeah. the boat. So uh, we are in preview, so we would love for our customers to sign up for the preview. At, at the web page of one click, uh, AWS IoT one click, and then we'll get in touch with them. We'd love for you to test drive. Uh, as part of the preview, we would also give you some buttons so that you can use those buttons and uh, you know test drive the service. Excellent. All right, guys, we are excited to have you guys here. We had the great AWS IoT team. Check us out later. We'll have more great talks, great people on Twitch Live. See you soon. All Thank right. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>